Hello, welcome to Oscar Crawford Media and Project I'm Alive. Project I'm Alive is going to tell the story of women's experience of sexual violence from prehistory to the present. How many of you have ever seen the cartoon of a caveman taking a club or a very big stick, hitting a woman in the head, a great large bump coming out on her head, and then him dragging her off to a cave? Most of us have seen that kind of caricature. What we don't get to see is what happens next. When that man takes that woman into a cave, adults know, mature adolescents know, that that woman is about to be sexually used and abused in a very violent way. That behavior still happens now. Women are still being sexually abused from infants to adults. And Project I'm Alive is saying, that behavior is not only criminal, it's wrong, and it needs to stop. Project I'm Alive asserts to inform women in a number of ways how to protect themselves, how to share their story and grow from the sharing, and to become free from living with all that guilt and shame over a period of time. What is the difference between a man, a caveman, hitting a woman in the head with a stick and dragging her to a cave to rape her, and a man who drugs a woman's drink in a bar? to take her to a cave call hotel to rape her. What is the difference? Qualitatively, there is no difference in that behavior. And so those of us who are alive who have regard for women, for those of us who have mothers, wives, sisters, daughters, granddaughters, we all want to do our very best to protect uh, women generally, but particularly those who are related and connected to us in really particular ways, particularly as family. We want to assert ways to protect our community. Women should not have to be afraid to walk from a store to their car, from work to their car, from anywhere to their car without some foolish, immature, uncontrollable, raging man hurting them. And this is not even about sex, this is about angry rage. We're going to ask the question, are men predisposed to the behavior of rape? Think about that. Are men predisposed to rape? Men in prison still rape. Men who have girl children and little boy children rape their children. It's, it's called incest in context, but still rape. What is it about men that predisposes men to this behavior? Second to that, what predisposes women to be available to that? One might say that after all of the history and observation, wouldn't women be diligent to carry big guns and knives and other weapons to make sure that they can always protect themselves? One might on the surface say yes, but who wants to live in a culture where you're always afraid all the time, and yet many people, particularly women, have to be careful of their environment and be aware of who's in it and provide for their own safety. Men who have regard for women that they are responsible to through relationship or as parents are always looking out for their children, and even at our best, sometimes it's not enough. Think about this. A young woman at a high school in California. She's at a, a sporting event and she is taken from the event outside to a football field and gang raped while it's being passed around as information and people there just doing video with their cameras and not doing anything to help her. This went on for more than an hour. No young woman in high school should be available to that kind of an experience. And what is it about young high school men, males, boys, who would perpetrate that kind of crime? Now you've seen a lot of movies uh, where rape is essential to the storyline. Jodie Foster won her first Academy Award for a movie called The Accused. And in that film, what happens is Jodie Foster is raped by a guy. He bends her over a pinball machine and rapes her while his buddies stand by and watch and do nothing. Eventually, all went to jail because they were complicit by not trying to keep it from happening to her or stop it from happening to her. And if you look across television, SVU, cold crimes, rape, sexual violence is big because it's a significant issue. If people knew how big a deal incest was in America alone, we would be ashamed or ought to be ashamed. Project I'm Alive goes into production August 15 and is to conclude production September 15 to go into post-production to be finished completely by the end of October, perhaps even into mid-November. But this project is due to be finished and available for people to use as a means of education and support for women before the end of 2015. 
We hope you will stay with us and follow us on Facebook and on Twitter and see the progress that's taking place in the film. We want to do this to protect women, to help women protect themselves, that we might literally become a more spiritual and civilized human culture where nobody has to be afraid to just live their daily life. No little girl should have to be afraid that her daddy's going to come into her room or her brother's going to come into her room or some other adult is going to come into her room or some adult is always going to be touching her in places that that adult should not be touching her. Project I'm Alive. Stay tuned.